A while ago, I did a video talking about how making a portable SSD using an NVMe drive and an enclosure like this is a really awesome way to create some incredibly fast storage that you can bring around with you. You can move it between devices and they're extremely flexible. Well, Yoda Master reached out to me since then and they actually asked me to check out their dual bay NVMe drive enclosure, which is really cool. This thing's got two bays on it, which means you can get a ton of storage. You can use things as backups. Lots of purposes we'll go over a little bit later, but I wanted to talk to you about this, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and show you how I'm using it. First, let's just quickly talk about some specs. So it is a dual NVMe only uh, enclosure. That means there's no SATA support. There is another model for it, although that is a little bit more expensive. They have it listed at supporting four terabytes per slot, so eight terabytes total. And it is a full aluminum enclosure with heat sinks. Now some quick features, it has two entirely independent slots for each NVMe drive, so they can work independently from one another. It supports UASP and trim functions if you want to use those. It sports a sandwich design for heat dissipation and it is entirely toolless, although you may want to use a tool for one portion of the installation process. All right, so let's talk about what's in the box. So obviously we get our enclosure here. Um, we get a user manual, always handy. We have a USB-C to USB-C cable with a USB-C to A adapter on there. Let's open that up. Unfortunately, you do only get one cable and it's not very long, although they usually are not very long. But as you can see, it's USB-C with a little USB-C to A adapter on there. It's got a little capacitive thing on there. Don't know how long that's gonna last. It'll probably break at some point, but it's nice that they got that. Um, so it is unfortunate you only get one cable because each drive has its own uh, USB-C port. So if you wanna use them both in tandem, you would need to get another uh, 10 gigabit compatible USB-C cable. So keep that in mind. We get the plugs for the toolless installation. And then we have the heat sinks and some thermal uh, pads for the drives. Now we're gonna install this TimeTech two terabyte drive here. We're also gonna install the drive that's currently in my other enclosure, which is an XPG two terabyte. This one is also toolless. It's got a little clip instead of plugs. Open that up, take that over there. So let's go ahead and get these installed. So you go to the switch side of the enclosure and you would push it over to the side and then you push from the other side of the tray and the little caddy will slide out. And we'll do that for this one as well. There we go. So we're gonna do the XPG. I'm not gonna put the uh, heat spreader on there because it's already got one built into it. Now you'd slide it in as you normally would install. And then the problem here is gonna be trying to get these little rubber grommets, these little plugs to go into the hole. So they're supposed to go into, see if it go into this hole, but even without a drive there, they really do not want to go in there very well. And they do not hold very well either. You really have to work it in there and try twisting it and turning it. So we'll see how well I can get it to go. It's a little bit easier when you don't have the drive, but then unfortunately when you go to put the drive on, it's just going to pop this thing out. So let's see if I can get this going with this drive. Now, what makes it also a little bit harder is that I do have the heat spreader built into this one. And it does make it a little bit harder to line up that hole. And okay, we got that one going, so that's great. Uh, let's do the second drive. So we're gonna go ahead I don't like removing the labels on these. Um, it doesn't really make too much of a difference, I've noticed, in terms of temperature. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to peel the plastic off of this. If I can see. It's not cooperating with me. There we 
go. Doesn't have to be perfect or anything. But get it to line up well. Peel the plastic off this side. Plastic's not really being nice to me today. And there we go. Grab one of these heat spreaders. And you just kind of put it on like so. It fits over the sides of the drive. There we go. And just needed a little bit of massaging to get on there nicely. And we go ahead, plop that into this one. Grab the other plug. Line it up there like that. All right, so it is a little bit easier with the standard heat spreader. So that went pretty well. Their profile is pretty close to the same, so that's good. And now we're just gonna go ahead and slide it back in. This is keyed, so you shouldn't be able to put them in incorrectly or anything. There we go. And there we go. Our drives are installed. Make sure it clips in. That one's not liking it. So I put them in upside down, I think. All right, push from the other side. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I had put them in upside down. So there you go, just make sure you push in on this side, make sure they don't slide out. And the logo should line up nicely as well. So there we go, we are all done with installing those drives. This is a, this thing is beefy. It weighs a lot. Um, if you drop this, I think it'll probably do some damage if you drop it on like a hard hardwood floor. Uh, it is a solid chunk of aluminum. Definitely well built. It feels great. There's like no, this is a solid, solid chunk of aluminum. All right, so I have both of them plugged into my computer. I have one with the USB-C to USB-C cable that was with my old um, external enclosure. And then I have the USB-C to USB-C with that USB-A adapter for the other drive. And I actually ran some quick crystal mark results here. And the XPG, which was using that USB-C with the USB-A adapter, got some half decent speeds. And the Time Tech, which is using the straight USB-C to USB-C, was doing pretty well. So I mean, speeds are about what I expected. I just did some quick and dirty uh, tests here, nothing too serious you know these drives both have data on them and everything so it's not the most representative thing but the enclosure itself is doing its job and while these were running i had my hand on the enclosure and it wasn't getting overly hot i even opened up the caddies quickly touched the drives they were doing pretty well as well so i'm pretty happy with those results so let's go ahead and talk about how i'm going to use this enclosure and some other ways that you can use it as well so as i mentioned before i have been using this enclosure for a very long time. I did a video on it and I use this as my editing drive. Now I will go ahead and put a bunch of data on here. I have a bunch of my black magic design stuff on here from uh, my resolve and it makes it very easy for me to start a project on my desktop. And then if I'm going somewhere or I'm traveling, I can go ahead and use it on my laptop as well. And it makes it very easy for me to edit on the go. Another way that this can be extremely helpful is for cloning NVMe drives. Um, you just need to make sure that you plug them both in and know that one of them will be operating slower than the other. If you have one in a USB-C and one in a USB-A, most desktops at least do not have two USB-C ports 
next to one another. Um, mine has, you know, only a singular USB-C port on the rear and a singular USB-C port on the front, but a lot of laptops will have a pair of USB-C ports on the side. So if you had another USB-C uh, 10 gig cable, you can go ahead and plug that in and have both drives running and running with USB-C and you can do some great cloning with a laptop. And with the way that I'm gonna be using it where I'm gonna be continuing to use my editing drive, the second slot is actually gonna be used as a backup for me and that's a really great option for a lot of people. You can use one as the main drive and then the secondary one as a backup. And another way that I might end up actually using this thing quite a bit is for going over and troubleshooting people's computers and stuff. I can have OneDrive that has a bunch of my information and things that I like using on it. And then I can have the other caddy empty and I can put someone else's NVMe drive in there, boot up on my laptop or whatever, and take a look at their drive and help them maybe extract some data before we wipe it and start fresh, for example. Now let's quickly talk about the negatives about this enclosure. I don't really have many, I really only have two. The first one being that it only comes with a single USB-C cable. Now, this is pretty standard when I've looked at other uh, dual bay enclosures like this, but it is unfortunate that you do have to tr try to figure out and provide your own um, secondary 10 gigabit USB-C uh, cable. It'd be nice if they just included two with the drive. I don't think it would increase the cost or anything that much. Um, it would be a really nice feature if they had it. The second thing being those silicone mounts instead of something like a clip. Um, clips are becoming a lot more popular for uh, quick release NVMe drive stuff. Even on some motherboards, they're getting clips as well. So I feel like that would be a better option than these little uh, rubber mounts that they have because they are a little bit finicky and difficult to get in sometimes. And they don't feel the most secure either. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy with it so far. It's been performing great for me. I've been using it for the last couple days. It's been a really nice addition. It is a lot larger, so if I want something smaller, I'll probably switch back to this little tiny one. But for the most part, I don't have an issue bringing that large one around. It's nice. It feels great. It is quite heavy as well, so keep that in mind. But I'm really happy with this drive, and I'm glad that Yoda Master sent it out to me. Now I will have links down the description for this product. You can either get it directly from their website and I believe there is a $10 off discount right now if you buy it directly from their website. I will also have an Amazon link for that as well. So if you wanna use that, it'd be greatly appreciated as it will be an affiliate link. Also do keep in mind that within a few weeks it is gonna be Black Friday and Cyber Monday. There might be more sales coming up. So keep an eye on the product, add it to your wish list on Amazon if you'd like. But this is something that I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I don't typically make recommendations or anything, but it is something that I'm going to continue using. I haven't used it long enough to give it a completely solid recommendation. As of right now, I'm pretty happy with it, and I wouldn't stop somebody else from buying the product. And with all that, I really hope that you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Slot Simon Stepback, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you do want to check out any of my other videos where I check out other products and do reviews, you can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.